Hello everyone, my name is Alan from Soberlab and today I will explain how to install R clone in your NAS. What's R clone? R clone is a program that allows you to connect from your NAS to any cloud. But it's not only to connect. Basically, they allowed you to make a mount in your device or can make a sync or copy. In this way, you can have your NAS inside this NAS have a folder where they are linked directly for Google Drive or Amazon Drive or Dropbox. And when you access this folder, you can have access directly in your cloud. This way, you can have a backup from Arclone. You can configure it Plex, MB, Jellyfin and other programs for a stream, media stream. In this way, you can use this folder to connect your application. Basically, you can have a high capacity for Google Drive, a limited memory for Google Drive, and you have a big library there, or you can pay a company to have a big library there. And with this one, you don't need to have all your hard drive specific in one place. You can have in the cloud and access it directly as a mount file. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to your channel, and now let's go to do it. This video will be important for you to understand the basic how to set your R clone and how to connect your clone for any kind of cloud that you want. In this way, we can install other programs for multimedia as Plex, MB, Jellyfin, and anything that you want to connect that specific programs for your cloud. In this way, you can make a stream using your cloud. You don't need to have a high capacity of storage in your house. You can have a contract for some terabytes of capacity in the cloud. So in the first time, we're gonna open the website for our clone. Here in the website, our clone tell what's our clone, what they can do for you. But let's go a little bit for the website. If we come here for uh, what they can do for you, they can use as a backup option, encrypt backup or not. You can uh, define the crypt that encrypt all your data. You can restore this information. You can mirror the information that you have in your data for the cloud. You can migrate this data from your device to cloud. You can copy, you can mold uh, multiples and uh, encrypt cache and device and others things that you can mount. As well, you can have some features as copy, sync, move, check, mount, local and remote connections. It means that you can create FTP for one component to another one and will work quite well. Okay, then they give you the list of applications that they, you can install. You can install as the big ones, Amazon. You can go for Dropbox, Google Drive, Google Photos, uh, Amazon, uh, Nextcloud, and uh, lots of options that you can use. So you have a big list that you can install it. Let's go up here. And now we go to the part of download. In download, you can download directly in your computer. In download, they offer you that you can install in Linux, Mac, OS, or FreeDBS directly with the command core arclone install, or you can install the beta option. I don't recommend to install the beta option because it's better. You are not stable and you can have problem for you. So we're gonna install the stable option and we're gonna install with the cool option. To do it, we're gonna connect our NAS for the SSH through the PuTTY. PuTTY open, we're gonna install our R clone. So first of all, we're gonna update our NAS for avoid any issue. In the last video, I show what kind of issue that you can happen if you don't update your NAS. So we're gonna go and update everything. We're gonna run sudo update, upgrade, and auto remove all the information that you don't want, and we're gonna run it. So we're gonna wait until they do all the download of our library, install this library, and verify that everything is running well and you don't have any issue at all. Okay, we just finished update and we create all our NAS. Now we can come here and clear the page, and now we're gonna install our core. If we don't start our core, we will not run correctly the application of uh, our clone. So let's install it. They say, you want to install? Yes. And now it will be really fast. So we already finished it. So now we can install our, our clone. We're going to run the first command for installation of our clone. We want to install the stable version and we're going to go and enter. Uh, now our clone is installed. So we can start to create our connections between our clone to our cloud. We're gonna clean this page and we're gonna run our clone config. 
and now they give you some options. You can go for a new connection, set up a pass or quit. So we go for new connection, we put N and they ask, what's the name of connection? In my case, I will connect you to, to the Google Drive. So I'll put G Drive and put Enter. Now they give a lot of, of names of options that you can install. In my case, I will go to Drive as a Google Drive. I, I tape Drive. They give you the option for use your own API. I really suggest you to use your own API just because it's more reliable and you not have problem for low performance or low IP for all the pools that everyone is using. So we come here and copy this link and we open a new web page. Here in the new web page, they describe how to create your IP, but I go through this process, it's quite easy. You go here and click Google IP console. First time that you open this one, you don't have any traffic related here, so we need to create our credentials. We come here and create credentials, and you come here and add a credential. So we're gonna create our Atom Cloud ID. So we're gonna create this Auto Client ID. We click here. They will ask you what kind of application. We're gonna put as a desktop application that I want. They ask for you to define the name. I will put as our clone, the name of my application, I put create. So now I have my both names, my ID and my secret password. I will copy my ID and come here back in putty, paste this ID and enter. So they ask my password, I come back here and copy the second password and pass this one. So we pass our password. Now they ask which option of configuration that you want to, you want to get a full access, only read, only write. No, I want full access because I want to read and write in this cloud. So I want to do as a drive. Now they ask if you want to define any name of a folder. No, I don't want to do it. I click enter. If you want to connect any service. No, I don't want. It will be the standard one. And ask, you want to do any special configuration? No, I want as a default. So now they give an option for you connect from your Arclone to your, your cloud, your account. So if you are directly using the computer, you can go and click yes. But if you are using a virtual machine or any other machine outside, you are using remote access, it will not work. So in our case, we are using remote access. So we need to put as a no and enter. They give you this link to access, so we're gonna copy this one. They will give the code that you need to use. We're gonna copy it, and we go back in our site and pass this information, and enter. So they ask you want to connect for a share drive or your own drive. If you have some share folders, you can connect for these share folders. But my case, no, it's not a share folder. It's only my drive, so I put no and enter. They ask all the information is correct. Yes, all the information correct. So I put yes, enter again, and we finish it to configure our G drive. So now I can clean this page. So I can check if it's connecting properly in my Google Drive. So I run the follow code. Our clone ls G drive to dot the same name of the connection that you did. And I have some pictures there. I have some JPEG pictures and some uh, raw files pictures. So now we can try to do our mount to our Arc clone through the open media file. How we do it, we're gonna use the code that I will leave in the description. You can use exactly the same, only it's easy for me only to copy it. So now I will explain the steps of my, our configuration. So now we're gonna do the mount of this file in our system. How we're gonna do it? We're gonna put the follow command. Our clone mount, it means that they will use our clone to mount G drive in the directory location that is located as SRV dev by label data home our clone drive. Basically, if I come here, our open media val, I'm using this link, and inside this one will have a folder called our clone, and inside this one will have another folder called G drive. Basically inside this folder here, I have my location, inside I have a folder called Arclone, inside this one I have the G drive and the cache. 
the same ones that I'm using here, G Drive, the same one that I'm using as a cache. I will leave this code in the description, so don't be worried about it. The next step, they will get the configuration for our R clone in the root slash point configuration, R clone, R clone configuration. You mask I'm using uh, as a 22, it's a standard one. My GID and my UID, it's the ID of the user. If you don't know how to discover it, it's easy, I will show you. You come here and put ID and the user that you use, in my case, it's Sauber Lab, and they show UID as a 1000, GID as a 100, so no stress. I want that allowed others. I want that the timeout, it's one hour. It means that it's not working. They will have timeout for only one hour. The pull interval of 15 seconds, I can reduce it, but it's okay. The cache limit is 1000 hours. I think that's a good time, principally with the application that they're gonna use. And the cache location will be in this R clone cache. And I wanted to make a VFS full cache here. And the maximum size of this cache is 150 gigabytes. If your hard drive is too small and don't have this 150, you can reduce for 50 or for 10 gigabytes. Remember, if the size of the media will be maximum of 50 gigabytes, you, it suggests you to put 50 gigabytes. If maximum 100, you suggest you put. But don't put look like one gig and all your media will feel be four, five, 10 gigabytes. So it will not work so well. In my case, I will leave as uh, 50 gigabytes. You can leave it at 100, you decide. And that's uh, Vcache Masmo age 12 hours. It means that after 12 hours, they will delete this cache. So we come here, copy this information. So we open the put and we run that command that we did before and put enter. So now we can open our folders and check if it's really working. If I come here in G drive, I already have all my files. This file, it's exactly the same as my Google drive. If I open my Google drive, they appear all my files here. And if I delete one of my files here, they will delete automatically one of my files here as well. So it's correctly linked for both. If I delete all those here, we'll have my G drive totally clean the same way. If I want to recover it, I go back from my Google Drive, come in the bin, and I can recover all. I can select all and put restore. So it's simple this way. Okay, what's the problem for this one? You have two options. You can create a task to do it, or you can create other way. You can create a task to do it, so I will show how to create a task for this application. To create this task is really simple. You come here in the Open Media Val, in the task option, you create a new task and you put our clone mode and you put at reboot and enable. It means that all the time that the Windows reboot, they will mount this file automatically. You can always say to send an email notifying that they mount successful, but I don't need to do it. At the moment, we mount our R clone to our cloud. But if you want to put some media in this one, Google Drive don't allow it, so we can encrypt the data. How we do it? So we can create a second R clone configuration. We come here, R clone config, and now we're gonna do a new. I want the name G Drive, crypt. So I will encrypt this data. I come here and I decide as a crypt and enter. They ask what connection that you want to run. I want to run a connection. G drive, two dots, and I will create a file that's a script, maybe. I don't I don't suggest you to encrypt all the data that you have in your R clone, but only one file to be simple. If you need to do anything, that file you know that's encrypted, otherwise you're gonna have a risk to lose all your data or mess up. So let's encrypt only this data, that's R clone. And what kind of encryption? I want to be the standard one, encryption. And I want to encrypt the data of the directory. Yes, I want to encrypt everything. It will be impossible to know what I have in this folder at all. So I encrypt it as a true and enter. They ask you if I want to use my own password or generate a letter password. I put that I want to generate letter password. And what's the size of this password? Why not I put uh, 24 to be really difficult and they created this password. So copy this password. It's really important you save this password 
because if you lose it, your data is done. You lose your data because it's impossible to recover. And to get a 1024 bits password to recover it to, with brute force would be basically impossible. So it is to copy. After you copy this one, they say, you are sure that you copy and save in a safe place? They say, yes, I did it. Yes. And now they ask, you want to create a second password? Yes, I want to create it to be really strong. And I put generate again and the same size, 24. And they say, you save in a saved place? Yes, I save, yes. And uh, you want to do any advanced configuration? No, for me, it's fine. I don't need to stress with it. And they say, all your passwords encrypted. So you wanted to save this configuration? Say, yes, I want to save it. So now we have our G drive. So let's try to mount this G drive encrypted the same way. We're gonna quit. So we're gonna put quit. So let's try to mount it. The only difference that I did is I changed the G drive crypt and the location for G drive crypt. So I put enter and now we can check if it's here. There appears G drive and I will create a folder called, I don't know, notepad test. Okay. I can see the, the name of the file. So let's see how I can see my G drive. Here in my Google Drive, I come here encrypt and they have a file called, I don't know, which format? I have no idea what's this. I cannot see at all. If I copy lots of pictures there, if I come here in my G Drive, I have no, no idea what is there. So this one will be used for your media in the future, in the next videos where I will try to connect different applications to this one. So I hope that you guys like this video. In this one, I try to explain a little bit more about the Arclone. You can connect Amazon F3, you can connect to Dropbox, Meg, and other applications that you want. I hope that you enjoy it. If you like, don't forget to leave your like. If you don't like and think that's unnecessary video, leave your dislike. Subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.